Alright, oh, I have been backwards, uh, forwards. <laughs> I should have been at the start of the walk by now, but uh, I went down to get some groceries, some scotch eggs actually, uh, for my hike today at Tesco's and I came out and I realised that I'd left some of my walking gear at home. So I had to go all the way back up to the house, get that, which it doesn't sound much, but it's added about an extra half an hour on to the adventure today but uh, anyway i'm going up a hill i've only been up once before and i'm kind of ashamed to say that and that'll become apparent you know, the reason for that uh, it will become apparent uh, later in the video but yeah uh, it's late as well it's a late start it is half past 11 should be 11 because of the time <laughs> i've added on but yeah i'll report back in a wee while and tell you where I am and what I'm going to be doing today and hopefully it's going to blow the cobwebs away because I'm feeling a wee bit jaded. Might have had too much red wine last night. Self-inflicted. Right, report back in a minute. So headed on up towards the highlands and the weather wasn't looking that great, although it was looking better than forecast at this point, but that was going to change as you'll find out later in the video. Right, we're just about uh, at the starting point. And I can see a wee bit of snow on the tops actually, it, uh, the, the forecast is for it to get milder today uh, as the day goes on, uh, it's to be windy but it is an improving forecast, one of the reasons why I've started later. Uh, but yeah, I'll park up and I'll uh, bring you back in the back and I'll uh, show you where I'm going and how I'm going to do it. But yeah, I think I'll need the big boots, uh, I'm going to put the crampons in the bag just in case. I said there's a wee bit of snow but sometimes you just don't know it's always best to have them because uh, i'm yeah i'm going to um yeah stick the ice axe as well so right i'll bring it back in just a wee while cool right don't know if you can make out i've got the uh, the bike on the back so i need to uh, need to get this down so this is going to uh speed my progress up for today as i said i'll bring you back in the van just to uh let you know exactly what I'm doing. Before I do anything, I'm going to get a brew on. I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> Along with the uh, the walk today, I think the coffee will help blow the cobwebs away. Or blow that uh, hangover away. Give us a good clean this place. <laughs> right, right, coffee though. Right. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I now have my coffee. I've got a map here which I'll just show you uh, where I'm going to be going. So I'm, I'm basically parked up here at the bridge and the reason I've got my bike is I'm going to be um, cycling about four or five kilometres along the glen which I usually my I don't know the rough estimation that I usually use is you can do about four kilometres an hour just walking norm normally along a flat surface not uphill not over uneven ground so that that would usually take an hour so it's going to take a lot less in the bike so I'm going to head along there and then I'm going to head steeply up the hill to this I think it's a Graham or I think they're called Fiona's now or anyway, it's on one of the lists and I've only been to it once and yeah, I'm a bit ashamed, you know, a bit ashamed to say that because um, this location I'm at now is only 16 miles away from my front door so I'm really lucky that I can do that. So yeah, I'm going to head along up the glen and then uh, a hike up to the top. It is meant to be really windy, it's actually drier than expected. It was meant to be torrential rain, but I think that's moved through quicker. So I've got all my waterproof gear. Um, I've even got my waterproof rucksacks. It was, <laughs> was expected to be torrential, but that's gone through and some of that might be uh, snow up there. So uh, yeah, let's oh, drop stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get on the bike and I'll report back when I'm um, heading along the clay. All right, so I'm just about there. It's the first time I've had to stash my poles away on my new bag. So I'm just figuring out a way to do that. But seeing as I've got my bike, safety first, get the helmet on, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going.
So after quite a bit of faffing about, although to be honest with you, I was really needing that coffee. Anyway, after a bit of faffing about, I yeah, I got on my way and was heading up Glen Ammon towards the point where I was going to be leaving the bike. And at the moment, you know, as you can see, it wasn't uh, wasn't too wet. It was a, there was a few spits and spots of rain, but nothing like it was forecast to be. So I was quite enjoying it, headed up towards the start of the walk. I tell you what, it's a wee bit of a, as expected. Strong headwinds that I'm cycling into, <laughs> so that means it'll be at my uh, back on the way out, hopefully. But it's absolutely lovely, it's not overly cold, there are a few spits and spots of rain, but not the torrential rain as of yet that was forecast. Anyway, the reason I chose this hill, this hill I'm going up, as I said, is a Graham or a Fiona. Seven, just over 700, uh, I don't know, 730 metres and uh, the reason I chose it is, that, yeah, the weather forecast wasn't great for today and the cloud base was forecast to be around about 700 metres so as opposed to going up a high mountain and being in the cloud all day I've chosen this one, look at this, well, I love this spot I don't know if you can see, I'll stop behind me, look at all the ice in the River Ammon. This is, brings back fond memories actually, because I used to bring the kids up here on the bikes when they were wee. I used to go further up and skim stones and stuff. Lovely. Anyway, <laughs> I must battle on into this headwind. I'll report back when I'm ditching the bike. Let's go. Oh, that's the rain on now, and I'm also almost at the point now but I can leave the bike, in fact I am at the point the steep track goes up there so time to get the poles out and leave the bike here and we'll uh, get heading up here I hope this is just a shower or maybe this is the rain coming in now <laughs> anyway I think I'll get the hard shell on as well right let's get this bike sorry and you just leave the bike here behind this rock put it down so it's a little less obvious oh rain oh man let's get this camera away before it gets too wet. It wasn't too bad actually, it was just a, a quick shower that passed by but I still got my hard shell on and got all geared up because I knew once I climbed out of the glen yeah at least I knew the wind was going to hit me because that was forecast. I was just hoping it was going to stay this dry for the rest of the day. Right so uh, there's these um, you know, gamekeeper tracks, 4x4 tracks which cut up the uh, side of the glen I said, no, it's a glaciated glen, I think, well, <laughs> if my geography lessons back in high school, I can remember them, it's hanging valleys, U-shaped valleys, all that sort of stuff. And it's a fabulous place, Glen Ammond. Um, anyway, I'm steeply making my way up, <laughs> and I'll soon be up on the open hillside. And I, although I was cycling into headwind, I was relatively sheltered in the glen because the winds were coming up from the south southwest. And the glen generally runs to an east to west direction. That was another reason I chose it. But I know when I get up here onto the plateau, it's going to be wild. So, hence why I've got the ski goggles on my head. Yeah, lovely. Let's go. The hangover is well and truly gone. <laughs> right, I'll report back. When I'm a bit higher up. That's me uh, up onto the the plateau. Behind me is the, the glen and there's a wee cairn behind me. I don't know if you can see it, it's also a standing stone. <laughs> I don't think it's an ancient standing stone. Oh, that wind, right? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Yeah, heading up over this way now. We're going to be in the mist and head down battling the wind. So let's crack on and I'll report back in a wee while. But yeah, a bit of uh, navigation required for the next wee while. So camera away and uh, let's see if we can get to the summit in these uh, rather unsavoury conditions. <laughs> oh. The conditions weren't great but they weren't overly bad at this point. There was a, a strong wind blowing from my left and the underfoot conditions were pretty, yeah it wasn't very nice, um, flowing snowpack and patchy snow so uh, yeah not great but you can see here where I was heading you can see that wind uh, blowing the the clouds, they were they were scudding quickly across the landscape, 
that's for sure and it's kind of hard to depict how windy it was and how unpleasant it was but anyway distance wise it wasn't too far to go so I got my head down and uh, yeah headed headed onwards into the into the cloud and the higher I got the more snow cover there was but yeah I didn't do too much filming because of the weather to be honest with you but before long I was approaching the summit right according to the map <laughs> I'm on the summit but I can't see any cairn Oh there's maybe a wee stone here but It's horrible The uh, snow's patchy, it's probably just above freezing But it's that, it's just constant rain And uh, the underfoot conditions are horrible because the snow When you have to go across it is just Non-consolidated wet snowpack so uh, yeah, I'm not going to be hanging around, in fact, pretty sure this is the impressive summit here and here, I'll spin you around and you'll see it, pile of stones, just a flat top, woo wee, what a place, right, as I said, let's get back to the van, I was actually thinking of uh, heading back about half an hour ago because it was just chucking it down with rain and horrible. So uh, yeah, I've made it, that's the summit, let's go back, it uh, must be gusted 30, 40 minutes of I'm heading into it now, so let's go! Having Ooh. made the summit, I did notice that the weather was changing, in fact it got a lot darker and the rain got heavier and that wind, oh my god, it was knocking me off my feet at places, so I was keen to get back down as soon as possible. Right, hopefully you can hear me, the, uh, yeah, it's been wild! Absolutely wild. Yeah, I'm back on the track now and this is a relatively sheltered part. The the weather's gone from bad to worse in a very short period of time. When I left the uh, summit, the winds just seemed to pick up by an extra, I don't know, 10 or 15 miles an hour. But that was enough to uh, knock me off my feet in places and the rain's just been hammering it down. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm glad to be on this track. I'm keen now, <laughs> as you can imagine, I'm keen to uh, get to the, the van and uh, get the heater on, warmed up and, and uh, change the clothes because I'm uh, pretty wet. <laughs> right, let's get down. Woo, it's wild! Wild it was and I can't really express how happy I was to drop down out of that gale force wind and under the cloud, it's amazing when you can get some clarity what it does to your mood. <laughs> anyway, I got back to the bike and I was just so keen to get down uh, back to the van, get the heater on and have a cup of tea. Um, and it was mainly downhill, so progress was speedy and yeah, when I got back to the van it was straight on with the heater and straight on with the kel for a cup of tea. If you want to see Glen Almond in a better light, I'll put a link to a wild camping video I did uh, in some glorious conditions. Go and have a look at that, because it really is a fabulous place. Anyway, that's me back at the van. Let's cut to me um, yeah, with a map and a coffee, explaining how the day went. Oh, it's a bit steamy in here. All right, let's do that, right. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my kettle to boil. I think I'm running out of gas. <laughs> Definitely running out of gas. It's taking forever. But yeah, I'm really glad to be back in the van. That was pretty gnarly, actually, um, and it just goes to show, you know, it, you know, on paper that's um, it should be a relatively easy-ish walk. Uh, it's pretty. There's no not many paths. If, if, once you get up high, anyway, it's mainly um, animal tracks. Um, maybe paths here and there. Certainly couldn't see them today with the kind of thawing snow about. And yeah, it, it got pretty serious pretty quickly. As I said, um, coming back down, everything just closed in. The wind picked up uh, and I just started to hammer it down with rain. Uh, it wasn't very nice. So I was glad when I got on the bike and that <laughs> cycle back down was um, always nicer coming down the glen. Uh, it didn't take long to get uh, to get back down, that's for sure. So yeah, um, I'll, yeah, as I said before, I'm ashamed of myself that I don't come up here more often. That's only the second time that I've been up that hill. And I do come up to Glen Ammon quite a lot. I, I do love it. It's just a lovely place to walk, to cycle to mill about in the summer um, but I, yeah I could just wish I, you know, I think I should be coming up a bit more doing a, doing a few more wild camps maybe I don't know but uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm going to end the video here so if you've made it this far thanks for watching 
stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next adventure. Right, let's see if this kettle actually gets to boil so I can get my cup of tea. Ooh. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs>